This week, one of my clients told me that she feels exactly like Jill. You know, from Jack and Jill. She goes up the hill, then comes tumbling down, then goes back up the hill and then down again. It's an endless loop. My client says she can keep up with her positive routine for a little while, but eventually she just slides back into her old ways. Whether you feel like Jill, Sisyphus, or any other busy woman, I'll show you how you can stick to your good habits, even when you keep messing up. Let's go. I'm Sage Grayson, a former book editor turned life coach. I help ambitious career women edit their habits, routines, and mindsets to balance their happiness at work and home. I'm a life editor, and so are you. Today, we're talking about how to stick to good habits even when it's difficult and you've messed up a million times in the past. Unlike Jill in the nursery rhyme, you are not doomed to tumble over your good intentions forever. Your life is not Groundhog Day. Okay, let's start at the beginning. First, choose a new good habit that you want to stick to for your life or for your business. For example, let's say you want to work out every day or maybe post to social media every day. Here are six simple ways to stick to that good habit and just try the one that's most exciting for you. Number one, find the easiest win. Instead of trying to be superwoman, just focus on what's good enough. You don't have to run on a treadmill for three hours at the gym. Honestly, that sounds like torture. In the fantastic book, Mini Habits, author Steven Geis discusses how he wasn't sticking to his good habit of exercising. So he instead, he went for the easiest win, doing just one push-up per day. Going to the gym wasn't feasible every day, but doing one single push-up well, that goal was too small to fail. I'll put a link to the book below and you really should check it out. It's short and sweet and you can finish it in less than a day. Remove your resistance and do the smallest thing that still gets you the positive outcome you want. Number two, use a habit tracker. The easiest way to track your habit is to put a big X on your calendar in the boxes for the days when you successfully complete that habit. So for every day you exercise, draw a big X or put a sticker on that date. When you see all of your completed days, you won't want to break the chain. This visual reinforcement is extremely motivating. Do you use a habit tracker? Leave a comment below and let me know. Number three, make it an everyday habit. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You say you're going to do your habit, such as posting on social media three times this week. Monday comes around and you don't post anything. I mean, you've still got other days this week, right? And then on Tuesday, you wrestle with yourself. If I skip today, do I still have enough days to reach my goal? Every day you end up wasting energy deciding if today counts or not. And that makes it that much harder to simply get started. Here's my tip. Do your good habit every day. No cheat days and no excuses. Consistency is key if you want your good habit to stick. It's just like flossing your teeth. Once you get in the habit of doing it, it becomes too strange to stop. And on a totally unrelated note, I just found a fabulous coconut dental floss that I'm gonna link below that has changed my life. So put it on autopilot and do your habit every single day. Number four, focus on the four day win. Martha Beck is one of my favorite life coaches and her book, The Four Day Win, uses the strategy to push through the fourth day of any plan because after that, it becomes so much easier. If you haven't read The Four Day Win yet, you must check it out and I'll leave a link below the video. So you've probably noticed this pattern in your own life. You can stick to a new diet or exercise plan for about three days and then you slide back to your old ways and end up sitting on the couch. But that fourth day is a trigger point that rewrites your neural pathways, telling your brain that this habit is good and you should stick with it. If you want your new habit to become permanent, you've got to make it through that fourth day. I recorded a video reviewing the four day win book and I will link it below so you can check it out. 
<laughs> Number five, figure out if your habit is intrinsic or extrinsic. When you think about it, are you doing this new habit because you want to or because everyone else says you should? Intrinsic motivation comes from inside you. You are self-motivated to make the change. On the other hand, extrinsic motivation comes from outside of you, from forces like society or your mother-in-law. And yes, you can have both types of motivation, but intrinsic motivation is the only one that's going to give you lasting change. You gotta do it for you. When the going gets tough, and it will, your intrinsic motivation will keep you focused on sticking to your habit and doing it because you want to, not because you're afraid of disappointing someone else. Number six, get an accountability partner. Really, no joke, this should be the number one tip. There is no reason that you should struggle on your own and it's always okay to ask for help. You might just find that your accountability partner was struggling too and you can be stronger together. I recently recorded a video about why accountability is so important and I'll link it below this video. Make a plan to check in with your accountability partner at least once a day. A quick text is all it takes to confirm that you did your habit to ask for some encouragement and give her the support that she needs. If you both stick to your good habits for an entire month, we'll get together and celebrate. Just make sure that your treat doesn't negate all of the good work you've been doing. So if you've been losing weight, don't go buy an ice cream cake, okay? That's it. This week, try one of these simple tips for sticking to your good habits. What new habit are you trying to create? Leave a comment below and let me know. Would you like me to be your personal habit coach? Spots are now open for the 12 week edit, a coaching package where you choose one goal, we make one plan to design one new you. There are only 12 weeks left of the year, but you know what? That is still plenty of time to reach your goals. You can do it. Click the link below to sign up for the 12 week edit. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.